Notice that Lord doesn't say, give me your tithes and offerings so I can take them to heaven and add on to my palace. Okay. <laughs> I want your tithes and offerings to use among you mm -hmm. so that everybody feels we welcome, that people are taken care of. So it's our way of being part of this community, the Zion that Sean mentioned. It's for us. The tithes and offerings are for us. He uses it to build chapels where we meet. He builds university, built this studio with tithes and offerings. He supports the missionary effort that's trying to gather everyone. So tithing becomes this critical point of how. I mean, what does the Lord want to do? He wants to gather Israel again. Gather everyone home safely. How does he do it? Through tithes and offerings. Why do we associate tithing and robbing from the Lord? We are part of a covenantal community. And he's saying, you're robbing me because I am trying to take care of you and everybody around you. And so if you're part of a community, you got to be part of the community, right? And I've had people when I was serving as bishop, I had somebody say to me, well, you know, I don't like tithing. It's so money oriented. And I, my thought was, and, and I was okay with them saying that, of course, but my thought was, well, we, we talk about caring, you know, we sort of say, yeah, I'm committed. Mm -hmm. I love that there is something that matters to me that I can say, I care about God more than I care about this stuff. And I care about my community. I'm part of this. I'm in, right? And that's, I think, what he's saying here. Okay, you're saying you haven't seen the evidence of my love. Well, come all the way in. Be part of this for real. Don't rob, and he says, don't rob me, but he's sort of saying, don't rob yourself of this right. full community experience. Yeah.